Hey everybody, it's Lori Broccolini, HappyNaturalHorse.com. And today I have my daughter's horse. His name is King. He was found in um, Antietam Battlefield, believe it or not. All our horses were given to us for free. So uh, don't mind the way I look. I feel like making up today. Today I want to show you, if I can get his head down. She just brought him back from the track. But I want to show you something if you're willing to learn <laughs> but I'm gonna try and get his head down <laughs> there we go I don't know if you can see his eye um, let me see if I can turn the camera a little bit um, but like right here come on baby you can see that his eyes are not even even meaning they're not straight across from here to there like from here to there, okay? Once you take a really good look, let me see if I can get him down further. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Good boy. And once you take a really good look at him, okay? Good boy. You see how they're not even, okay? This is the first sign that your horse is unbalanced, okay? A lot of people are going to say that you need cranial work and stuff like that. But really, it's so simple to fix, it's not even funny. <laughs> so, he's looking and chewing here. Um, I don't know if his teeth... Now, this over here, if you push in here on both sides, right behind the eye here, if they throw their heads up, usually it means their teeth need to be done or they have some type of TMJ. That usually will be because... The TMJ will happen mainly from the salt blocks because when they're licking, they can't get the salt into their mouth because their tongues are smooth and they can't grab it. And horses are grinders and they need to grind to get the enzymes into their system. A cow has a rough tongue so they can do that. And this is all in my book, Natural Equine Remedies. So I'm going to back him a little bit here. He's, he's a little, you know, he's a... He's a right brain introvert, I think. And I haven't really worked with him much, but let me see if I can get his nose up here. And I'll have to take a look at it too. But you will see, yeah, this one side of the nose is larger than the other side. Okay? So this is very, very easy to um, remedy. Okay, now I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to hope that it works. <laughs> okay, just going to pause it. Okay, so I'm back again. I went ahead and did the releases. Come here, baby. And I want you to take a look at his eyes. And he's, he's holding his head down because he's not as tense. But as you can see, I got up a little bit more. His eyes went even. See that? They're more straighter across, okay? And look at his nostrils. They went even. They're not misproportioned, okay? Isn't that interesting? So I'm going to do one more health um, equine pain point tip to show you what my, mo my daughter, you know, I love her to death, but, you know, she's one of those people that like, hey, let's jump on and let's just go. Who cares about the horse is out or not? You know what I mean? So, and there's a lot of people like that. A lot of people don't feel like, you know, the equine pain points are really important. But, you know, would you rather have a horse that's balanced and, and, and calm and out of pain while you're showing it, jumping it, or doing whatever you do to it? Wouldn't you want that to be out of pain? I mean, I would. So, I'm going to move him so you can see the next pain point. Okay? Hold on. Good boy, Yingy. Good boy. Yeah. A little bit more. Good boy. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, so hopefully you can see his back. Yeah, you can see his back. So, what I'm going to do is this is the number one reason why horses go to horse slaughter, but, you know, um, people just don't understand, and it's so easy to fix. But he, she puts a heavy saddle on him and then she ponies. But when you hit the weathers there, you see how he's like 
he's twitching everywhere and you know he's just really really out and then his head comes up that means he's in a lot of pain that means it's like you having a kink in your neck and you put 200 pounds on it and you know she loves this horse we know you love your horse but would you rather ride a horse that's twitching and in pain or would you rather a horse not be in pain so hold on okay so now we're back so I went ahead and did the equine pain point release for the withers which is in my book how to identify and release your horse's pain points now I'm gonna move him up so that you can see him he moved back a little bit so I'm gonna move up now it only took me a second to do so it's real easy to do and I want to show you um, I'm gonna push on him as hard as I can and he's no longer flinching you see that he is no longer flinching and he's just he's doing this yeah he's no longer flinching because he had memory there yeah he had memory there now I can show you more of the pain points but you can go to my site happynaturalhorse.com and there's a whole thing on showing you where the horse's pain points are and how you can release them and why it's so important for you to to keep your when you know show season starting um, people want to get out on trails don't know why their horses are rearing you know get the book it's it's the best thing you're gonna have in your tack box in your tack room ever real easy to do it took me three seconds to release these pain points and the horse is much happier so happynaturalhorse.com please share this video with others if they're especially having behavior issues or issues with their horses rearing bucking or throwing their heads so bye